We are all being tested right now, whether we want to or not. I'm going to get right into it. This lockdown forced, obviously, the whole world to shut down, but it forced us to maybe have to deal with some shit we don't want to deal with. Some things we're maybe putting to the back burner that we that are now coming to the front. You know, some things we're trying to avoid, trying to ignore, and we don't have that luxury anymore, okay? We don't have that luxury of, you know, putting things away, pretending that it's not there, and just going about our day. Now, we have to deal with it. Now we have to deal with some shit. You know, and this is a test, I think, for everybody. And some people are going to fail. A lot of people are going to fail. And some people are going to come out stronger after all this is over. And I hope you guys are the ones that are going to come, going to come out stronger. I know I've been tested a few times during all of this. And one of the things was just having patience. You know, once, because I didn't know the severity of all this was going to happen. And once things started to ramp up and it's like, okay, people are going frantic in the stores and, you know, getting all, you know, agitated and, and nasty and I'm going in there and it's like people are pushing and shoving and trying to grab everything. You know, I had to exude patience because I'm ready, you know, to flip out and, and start cursing and start acting crazy. And it's like, okay, I have to calm down as well. You know, another thing with me with patience is I'm always about let's go right now. You know, let's work. Let's get to it. What are we waiting for? We're wasting too much time. Let's get it. And because of this, nope, we have to, we have to pull back. We can still, you know, work and still, you know, working on working towards things and being diligent. But now the rate of speed that I was going at, it's like, nope, you're going to have to sit your ass down a little bit and be a little more strategic in how you're working. Um, so patience for me is something that and I, I had to find the reasoning behind it because I found myself going into like these stores. And the minute I walk in, I'm just already losing it. The minute I walk in, I want to leave, you know, the minute someone you know maybe cuts me off with their cart or almost hits me with their cart i'm ready to flip out and it's like okay hold on a second like what's wrong with not 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 what's wrong with the person what's wrong with me you know what's my problem right now why is this issue you know getting me so frustrated why now that i'm in the checkout line that okay because there's you know six seven people in front of me i'm already just getting frustrated it's like okay so this this is my test right here and every day I feel like I'm getting tested in a different way. Um, some, you know, some, some are bigger, some are small, but one of the biggest things was patience. And I have to, and you have to kind of find, okay, it's not necessarily finding a silver lining with all this, but you have to find the lessons in all of this too. You know, of course, some people are, are going through some, some situations where they had a job one day and now it's gone. You know, that's a test in itself. I'm, I'm in the same boat. You know, my department completely shut down. So now I have to 100% revamp everything. But what I can't do is just say, oh no, I guess, well, let's just see what happens when all this is over. I don't have that luxury. And honestly, the majority of us don't have that luxury. We can't say, oh, let's just see what happens. And if you are thinking like that, you're a fool and you need to snap out of it. Okay, that's why you're getting tested so many times. It's letting you know, number one, nothing is guaranteed. Time isn't promised. You know, you don't know what's going to happen the next day. We were all who before all this, we're all making plans for spring and this now. I was on my way to California to compete. And then all of this happened. So another thing that I had to deal with also being in this lockdown was I had to start listening to myself. There's but so many podcasts I can listen to day, but so many YouTube videos I can listen to day, listen in a day. But you, you know, I have to sit down and say, what am I thinking? What, what are some of my thoughts? Because every time we go out, every time I hop in the car, you know, that luxury of being able to get in the car, you know, immediately trying to find a new podcast. What's a new Rogan episode? What's this episode? What's that episode? Versus just turning everything or I'm playing music versus just turning everything off. Let's just turn everything off for a second and just listen to our own thoughts, get inside our own head, you know, make our own podcast in a sense, you know, where, what am I feeling? What am I going through? What do I want to talk about? What do I want to voice? What, how do I feel? What are my emotions going on? Versus just getting this outside, um, outside stimulation. Let me stimulate, stimulate myself. So I had to learn, I had to start, start turning things off. That was another lesson. You know, I can't just stay in here and just listen to outside, outside. Neither should you. Don't just, you know, because you have this extra time, don't now just bombard yourself with just podcasts and YouTube videos and Netflix. No, 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 no. Have, you can come, you know, have a time for that to where you allow yourself some time to watch it if you feel like it. But other than that, get inside your own thoughts.
Get inside your own head. Think about some things. You know, what do you want to do for your next step? You know, uh, after all this is over, things are going to be way different. Some people are going to go back to work. A lot of people aren't. Right? What do you want to work on? What do you want to do? What is, what is this thing that you've been trying to, to build and you had an idea? This is a perfect time now. What is something that, that that little voice in your head has been speaking to you about saying, okay, I want to work on this. Let's try this out. Here's the time. Because we don't, I don't know when this is coming. We don't know. We don't know when this is coming back. We don't know. You know, so this is another test to just listen to yourself, just to silence the outside noise. When you're driving, turn everything off. Just roll down the window. I know it's quiet in, in your neck of the woods. It's, it's been quiet out here. There's no one on the street, especially at night. When I start driving like 9 p.m., 10 o'clock, there's nobody on the streets. There's no horns honking. There's nothing. I just turn, turn everything off, roll down the window, and I just get, kind of get lost in my own thoughts. Um, another thing is, man, whoever you're with, for example, you know, people, you know, your loved ones, your, your mom, your, you know, you, you're with your girlfriend, you know, your kids, your wife, whatever. Now you got to sit with them all day. All right. It's not like the wife goes to work, you go to work and then you see each other in the evening for a few hours and then you get the kids home for a few hours and that's it. Nope, everybody's here. And I know some people are just getting frustrated. That's what I'm hearing a lot of times. People are getting frustrated that oh, I got to sit, sit with the girlfriend again the whole day. Well, it shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> like it shouldn't. Why is it that it's bothering you that much? Maybe that's something that you two need to come together and say, OK, why are we getting on each other's nerves so quick? Right. Why are we getting why? Do, why do we want to choke each other out all of a sudden? Because now we have to deal with the, each other instead of like six hours or dealing with each other for 12 hours or whatever, whatever the time is. Maybe that's something that you need to look into also. Like, OK, how can I make this better? How can I make the situation better? And it may not even be a big deal. It may just be something like, OK, look, I want my eggs over easy and you, you keep scrambling them. Like, you know, it's been pissed me off for the, for the past 10 years. Let me just don't do it. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just, you know, going off. But why is that? You know, working out, like I said before. OK, because the gyms are closed now, we can't train. OK, because. All right. So you don't have equipment. We can get out there on some grass, a mat right now and have an incredible workout sweating you guys you look at my instagram i'm in a bedroom on a mat leaking my ass off getting it in you guys can do it too so that's not an excuse so what is the real core reason for all these things so, so that's why i feel we're getting tested right now and i look at that as you know i hate to say that's a positive in, in, in this negative situation but we have to always look at different angles of this of course of course this shit's crazy but it's now allowing us to deal with some things that we may have not dealt with before and prior to this because we're always caught up. I know I'm speaking for, from experience, I'm speaking for myself, you know, because we have our routine, we're regimented. You know, I know I may have gotten a little soft. I've spoken about that in other videos where I've gotten soft. You know, I just hop in the car. I know the car is going to start up. I'm going to go here, go train, go. And that's it. Now it's like, nope, let me throw a wrench in all of that right now. Yeah. Nope. You think it's all sweet? Well, let me take it from you. Oh, you think time is just there for whenever you're ready? Nope. I'm going to show you something different. So all of these things have been happening and it's up to us now to, okay, how we're going to deal with, deal with it. What are we going to do? How are we going to figure this out? What can we, how can we utilize this? You may not have your job after this. Okay, when well, you're making preparations, you always said you wanted to start your own thing. Man, you have a lot of opportunities right now to do that. You not you do have you have nothing but time on your hands. You know people are home. <laughs> Now's the time to reach out, ask questions, figure things out, because we don't know what's going to happen. So this is a test for everybody. Everybody's being tested in some way. There's nobody out here that's not being affected by this. Whether you want to deal with it or not, it's going to be up to you. So something to think about. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to finish this coffee. I'm going to head to the park. I'm going to get another kettlebell workout in today. Uh, hopefully, I'll post some, some good clips for you guys. If you haven't, just check out the Instagram. It's lapels and barbells. That's where I've primarily been putting a lot of the uh, the workouts on there. And maybe I'll start putting some some on here, but I haven't really been putting, putting, really putting much on here. So anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to get, get out of here, guys. I appreciate you watching. You're being tested, right? What are we going to do about it? All right, I'm out of here. See you guys later.